What's going on guys? This is Chris back with another video. Hey, me and Josh We decided to do a little bit of traveling way outside our comfort zone today You're about to see where we're at. Let's go in That's a heavy door all right guys so as you see we made our way to the Bassmaster Classic up here in Birmingham Alabama Joshy Poo decided to drive us up he's a nice guy so we're really here to see uh, the new Old Town kayaks they're unveiling the brand new kayaks if you haven't checked out Josh's video, he actually got an exclusive taste of their new kayaks. Go check out that video. Link's in the description box below. But hey, we're gonna be out here. You shout me out. I shout this guy out in all kinds of videos. Hey, but we're here. We're gonna see all the new products, kind of like iCast. Maybe meet some uh, YouTubers and just have a good time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you see something you've never seen before. We're gonna have a good time. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh, you want to meet the stars, Joshua? I don't even know who it is. You want to meet the pros? You guys, that guy's a pro. I have no idea. Who it is. That's it right there. That's your boat. That is it. Good looking bow, man. That's loud, loud and red. Beautiful though. That's it. I bet you this thing's 95 G's. 95. Brand new, guarantee it. Well, let's see, let's see. They're gonna give you a low in price. 92. 92. Hey, your boy was right. Leave a like. Cause I was right. So we stopped by the Old Town booth a little early. Josh actually has a uh, meeting at the Old Town booth, I think at 1.30. Right now it's 11.30, so it's a couple hours until then. We're gonna walk through some of their boats, some of their new stuff, and uh, check them out. They're pretty sick. If you guys, uh, just, just stay tuned. We're gonna get a nice hands-on personal look at them. Hey, check this out guys. So they actually took the boat from a, a winner of a Bassmaster Classic in the kayak series and they put it out here all dirty like it just came off the water. It's the old Predator PDL, but now they got the whole new Sportsman series and they're pretty sick. All yours at 130. Oh, Pleasure to meet hey, you. Nice to meet you. All right. So I'm actually going to be doing a total walkthrough video for one of their kayaks, a whole separate video. So make sure you guys check that out when it drops. It should be my next video on uh, Thursday, this upcoming Thursday. This is their 14 foot kayak. It's freaking huge. Check that out. So just to get away from all the people, they actually laid out all their boats here on a big banner type. Obviously a canoe, a pedal kayak only, their PDL drive, so their pedal drive system. And then you got the power by Minn Kota. So this one is actually powered by a handle. And then that one is powered by just the Minn Kota, the spa lock system. They're doing some pretty innovative things, so it's pretty cool to see. Uh, it's a game changer with the spot lock system because now you can set up, uh, you know, your tarpon baits or even on, you know, a ledge while you're bass fishing and you don't have to anchor down. You ain't got to worry about really toting an anchor in a kayak because they can be a pain in the butt getting up into your hatch, getting the anchor out, and getting your uh, set correctly the way you want to fish. Over at the power pole booth, shout out the power pole. Our uh, pump just went out on my dad's Pathfinder. Uh, Josh and Pooh just got some connections at Power Poles and uh, they took care of it. So they're, they got good customer service. You never realize how deep your 10 foot pole will actually go until you're underneath it. Look at that. It's way up there. Hey, 
Hey, by the way, guys, never touch the actual pole of your power pole. You get fiberglass all in your hand. Your boy's done it before. Freaking painful. You actually have to take some duct tape and pull all the little fiberglass needles out of your skin. It's extremely painful, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, salty scale shirts, Josh. Huh? Two salty scale shirts right in front of you. Hey, those are some nice shirts. Very nice shirts, guys. Nice shirts. Yeah. <laughs> To <laughs> Guys, they have no idea. <laughs> they got some nice shirts, that's for sure. So I've been uh, Team Yamaha my whole life. Josh has got me in the middle of the Mercury booth. It just, it just feels wrong right now. Oh my! But they've definitely stepped up their game. Dude, are you serious? Their motors right look pretty wicked. Look at that. They got everything on display. Okay. There's no way their throttles are that smooth when they actually uh, got them all hooked up. I think it's pretty cool when they open the motors up and you get to see everything that's inside them, all the components. Check that out. That's a pretty cool booth right there for a little uh, display. Spend the prop. I think I think this whole whole thing's cool, man. You get to see everything. All, I didn't even realize that's open. Everything that goes inside of it. Four point six liter. That thing weighs almost 700 pounds. That's a beast of a motor. Hey, we're over here at the Cabela's Fast Pro Shop uh, booth. They're asking where everyone's from. Look, we got we even got people from Seattle over here. Nobody's from Florida. Nobody's from Florida, literally. Nobody. I mean, I guess you got up here in like Destin area. Pin it, baby. Josh has got the, the, the West Coast lifestyle. Come on. I'll go uh, Central Florida. Get it, son. Good old Polk <laughs> County, guys. Get it, son. Yeah, we from we from Polk County. That's what I'm talking. He's from Polk County. <laughs> that, this is for the kayak, bro. Is that one? I think so. Oh yeah, the Helix fire. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So Josh is gonna be uh, putting one of these on his kayak. I like that one. I don't know though. This might be more ideal. Yeah. Hey, tell me we can't catch some big old bass with that unit right there. Down view. Or even some grouper. Show you the fish on this uh, little. Yeah, these are fin. This is the, this. Alright, so I am a uh, professional bass fisherman right now. We're in a skeeter. Dude, that wheel, that wheel is crazy. Hey, you guys like the hot foot? Never been a uh, huge fan of the hot foot. Only used it once though in my entire life, so uh, I was a little uncomfortable with it. Always been a traditional throttle guy, but I guess if you fall off the boat, the, the hot pedal is the way to go. These buttons are sick. I wish they, uh, I wish they put buttons like this on saltwater boats, but I don't. I don't think they'd last. Do you? Like these? I don't think they would. I think it would just eat those buttons up. One little salt splash. Check this boat out. What, are, what is this? 21 feet? Looks like 21 feet. Yeah, your cooler in the middle, quick access for your drink, cup holder. Hey, we got the we got the Yami back there. We got the Yami, the show. The live well should be probably right here. Yeah, that's your live well. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, the work that goes into these bass boats, like when you get up here, you're like, man. I think it's impressive. It is. Hey, a lot of you guys know that I got one of the most viewed Daiwa reviews on the market. So let's go ahead and make our way over to Daiwa here and uh, see what they got to offer. That's a cool looking rod. Oh, here they go. They got the Bassmaster Classic live right here. So let's see the standings, current standings. Combs having a great day already. 22 to 10. That is with a 2 2 in his box. He's got a 5, a 6, a 5.5, a, a 4, and a 2 2. If he catches a 5 pounder, he'll have 26, 27 pounds. Well, let's get out to the man who got the time yesterday in fine fashion, Hank Jerry. Hank 
Cherry is currently the leader in the Bassmaster Classic. 43 pounds. I think he's uh, like five pounds ahead of everybody else. That's a sexy looking reel. Check this one out. So this one's called, I think it's called the Cake. Never heard of it before. It's a really, really sharp looking reel. Smooth, they run about 200 bucks. I wonder what size these go up to. All of these are on their smaller end. Oh, it only goes up to a 2500 series. Perfect, perfect bass fishing, crappie fishing reel. Y'all already know about the BG. Go check out my review. Link in the description box below. All right, guys, we're in the St. Croix booth. I always gotta think about that. We're in the St. Croix booth. We're in with Jesse here, Ryan, Steve, Joshy Poo, like always. Hey, you guys know the video of me and Josh breaking the mojo St. Croix rod. Link will be in the description if you haven't seen it already. You guys wanna see us break some more St. Croix rods? Comment down below because we're gonna do it. If you say yes, you're sick. You're sick. <laughs> what do you think, Jesse? Sure. Hey, Jesse said I could literally swing around that 60 pound cinder block with which rod? What? With a Mojo Salt rod. So be looking for that one because I just bet a signed dollar on it. Yeah, we, we, we bet on it, so you guys stay tuned. I'm Get ready one, for that one. I'm thinking one. Oh. You, can, you can pull your Silverado with it. Pull the Silverado. He's got a Silverado? He's, He's got a Silverado. Got a Silverado. Okay, you can pull yeah. the Silverado. I got a Sierra. Do the same thing. A little different Sierra, but it's Sierra. All right. <laughs> Pull it. We're gonna do it. All right. All right. Stay tuned, guys. Got those is that on YouTube? You can, you yeah, can it is, buddy. You want to say hey? Hey. What's your name? Yeah. What is it? Harper. Harper. Nice to meet you, buddy. All right, guys. This is the new Legend Extreme. Beautiful seven power. Fast action rod. Oh, dude, that handle is wicked. Hey, Josh, did you see the handle on this? We're just gonna leave it. Check out that handle. That's very light. I like it. Dude, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, it's got that. It's like a extra grip. grip. Hey, Jessica. This is my this is my girlfriend's rod right here. Nice rod. I'd use that rod. I would use it too, but she'll love that rod. It's funny, guys, because when we're talking to everybody here, they always talk about bass fishing. I mean, we love bass fishing, but we do a little more salt water. And then we bring up, you know, redfish, trout, snook, tarpon, and these guys haven't remotely or caught any of those fish species. Check out these displays they got. Oh, that's your new one. That's the new Lorance. Alright guys, that is going to do it for the Bassmaster Classic vlog. We're exhausted, met a lot of cool people, so if you're watching this, shout out to you. We saw a lot of cool products, had a good time, and uh, now we're just ready to eat. We're, we're exhausted, ready to eat, probably lay down for a little bit, and uh, get back to it. What do you think, Josh? You have a good day? Good day, guys, good day. That's it, that's all you gotta say? Yeah. Man, Joshy Poo's lame, but if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe for more. Hit that like button, really helps your brother out, and uh, leave a